So one of the real estate tech giant Open Door is laying off some of their workers. It says about 17% of the Open Door staffs uh, are going to be laid off from a letter uh, to the shareholder. And this isn't the first time. Uh, in 2022, November 2022, they laid off about 550 jobs. In April of 2023, other 560 more. Hey, welcome back to Sean Realty Podcast. This is Sean the Realtor Guy. And if you don't know what Open Door does is it's basically a, they used to call it the iBuyer program. With investors' money, companies like Open Door will buy homes from the home sellers, homeowners directly, and then fix some of things and sell it to the public right away. So it's more like a corporatized house flippers so what that means is that they have to buy the house at the right price in order to make profit when they sell like three months down the road now as i mentioned before the real estate is very local hyper local knowledge base driven industry and having a big company like this um this is where things are going wrong. In fact, Zillow failed at this. They had an iBuyer program about two, three years ago. They faulted that. And uh, let's kind of look at um, the article and I'll share my thoughts and I'd love to hear your thoughts as, as well. So they're basically saying that um, like flattening the, the process, try to save money, but they didn't say which office either San Francisco or Tempe, Arizona, where there, those layoffs are happening. And it was one of the several companies that went public in 2020 and 2021 through a special purpose acquisition company led by investor uh, Ch Chimath P. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his name, but he's a well-known public figure. And initially it was valued at like quite a bit the stock market went up i mean the stock price went up an 18 billion dollars um, valuation at one point almost four years later this real estate firm is now worth about 1.3 billion so lost more than like uh, 15 mm, more than i don't know 90 percent ish in the uh a uh, couple months ago the filing deficit from 2021 22 23 it lost 662 million 1.4 billions and 275 million dollars respectively so in the last three years they haven't made any any money and as i mentioned before it's the acquisition point where home sellers are going to compare if i list with the real estate agent compared to getting an open door letter i actually got some of these letters before uh, it basically says you know uh, your home hello homeowners uh, we would like to make a cash offer at x amount if you sell it to us directly now the consumers then will talk to their favorite realtor and go hey sean uh, how much is my home worth right now because i just got a letter from open door what do you think in many cases when you test the market in, a, in an open market with a bunch of a home buyer pool all kind of getting access to the listing you get the best dollars and without the you know open market marketing strategy uh, it's really hard to know what that top price that is going to get but as a realtor, we look at the comparable homes and we can sort of like make a range, right? Like 5% price range or 2% price range, we can give that range. Now the question for these companies is that do they know this range accurately, like the local real estate agents do or not? This is where things went wrong a lot of times. I've seen this in 2020 and 2021 they're basically paying a lot more than the fair market value. So when you pay more and try to sell at that price, it's not gonna sell. And they've, they've done that with the Zillow. I haven't dealt with Open Door directly, but Zillow have done that. So I had one listing in 2022, I think. They offer a certain amount, and the homeowner, my previous client, 
you know, call me and say, hey, Sean, what do you think? So I ended up listing it, and they actually Zillow bought it, I believe. Uh, they paid quite a bit, and they turned around, and they tried to sell it, and the last time I checked, they couldn't sell it at the price that I sold the house to them, that's the price. So Zillow couldn't sell the, at the lower than what I sold it to them, basically. So. After that, about a year and a half later, uh, Zillow closed down the iPyre program. Now, of course, I you know texted Chris and hey Chris, <laughs> you know Zillow folded that you got lucky getting that price at that time, and it looks like the open door is going through sort of like similar situation. You know, any kind of business, no matter what kind of funding is backing, if it's losing money every year, how can you sustain? And this is where other failure, potentially, not yet, I, I don't know, but it looks like it's going to fold soon. Who knows? Uh, it's, it's not my opinion, I'm just reading the article, but without the local real estate knowledge, having this big tech company try to do a, a real estate deals, um, in my personal opinion is not going to work because it is very local driven micro market driven there's so many different variables in different homes and lots and locations and so many different emotions involved with the, you know the buyers how they buy homes so that's where uh, very detailed analysis is needed when you do acquisition on any of these homes Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment if you have any thoughts about this. And more likely, we're going to see like different versions of these tech companies try to take over the real estate market. Because real estate drives about 20-25% of the United States economy. So there's a lot of money there. Right? So there's always going to be some tech company, but the question is, can they succeed? Yeah, Not yet, as far as I can tell. They say AI is going to replace realtors at some point, probably, but uh, they don't know how to think creative, creatively yet. So until they do that, I believe that the realtors are going to be still valued. And uh, yeah, love to hear your thoughts. And if you have any thoughts or questions about specifically about Portland and Oregon real estate market, I'm here to help and you can call me at 503 Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.